Let me introduce my first guest, uh, Yannick Nauck. He's a portfolio manager from Glendagon King Asset Management. Hi, Yannick. Hi. I'm very well. I'm quite excited about Christmas uh, this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let, let's talk about what, what uh, the outlook is heading into 2012 and what kind of year we can anticipate. Well, I mean, the main, uh, at least for the bond market, the main uh, question is what will be the, uh, do we will have, I mean, to a conclusion in the Eurozone problem, uh, will uh, yield continue to push up or are we going to have a final, I mean, a real uh, conclusion to, this, uh, to these problems? Uh, right now, it's very hard to say. Uh, as you can see today, the, uh, both France and Spain are doing a bit better, yeah. but Italy is not doing well at all. And now we are getting close to, we had 7% for 10-year yield, which is very close to the all-time high back uh, at the beginning of November. And it starts to, uh, start to be worrying again. Um, there's a good chance, though, that Monti might just succeed. I mean, in terms of his austerity package, in terms of pushing through the necessary measures to make sure that, that Italy reigns in it, it's, it's yes. deficit. Today, uh, I mean, this week, he announced the third austerity package in, since June. Uh, yeah, I think that it's been voted by the two houses. So far, uh, the market is not really reacting very well to it because we don't know yet if he will be able to implement uh, the politics. Uh, I think it's much easier for an elected government to push an austerity package, like in Spain, uh, or like in UK back last year, mm. I think it's much more difficult for an, elect an elected government, like in Greece, or like in Italy, for mm. example. Are you feeling more optimistic on 2012 than you were, say, three months ago, or less optimistic on I, I'm very optimistic because uh, at the beginning of this year, no European government realized that the debt situation was problematic for themselves. Mm. It was always someone else's problem. It was not really their own problem. Uh, as of right now, it's the number one priority for every government in Europe. So if it's their priority, they should be able to address it. It might not be easy. Uh, there will be some hard choice, but yeah. they should be able to deal with it. I, mean, I, I guess from my perspective, I'm still trying to figure out uh, whether or not we're going to see the ECB backstopping yes the bond markets in, in, in full and, and, uh, and, and really stepping in as a lender of last resort. And so far, this week, they did the, the next best, best thing, uh, the, almost quantitative easing, by lending 489 billion to, Europe, to a bit more than 500 European banks. Yeah. Uh, it, they, they did. I mean, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big amount of money. I mean, M0, which is the uh, bank deposit and the bank bills, is uh, 900 billion for bank bills and yeah. 700 billion for bank deposit. So for, uh, this amount of money, it's a significant amount of money. Um, will it? I don't think it will have an immediate impact uh, in terms of bond yield, but there will be a positive impact for sure, uh, at least during the first half of 2012. Mm. Uh, we keep talking about the redemptions and the coupon payments yes. uh, that are due in the first quarter, especially. And, I mean, I was looking at, at some of the figures, if I can just find some of my old notes from the other day. I mean, there's some big, big amounts that, that are due. In 2012, yeah. uh, European government have to refinance 1.6 trillion, and the European bank have to refinance 700 billion. So that gives you, uh, and Italy alone, I think it's 440 billion. So yeah. we're talking about very, very big amount. But, but, but might we be surprised to the upside on this? I mean, we've seen some pretty successful and pretty um, positive noises surrounding the recent bond auctions that we've had here out of the Eurozone. And might that continue? And, and, and is there reason to assume maybe that people also are tired of the same old trade of getting out of a periphery sovereign bonds just because? I think it's, uh, most of people are very pessimistic and it's, uh, it, now it's the, uh, uh, the average uh, thinking is that it will be very hard and everything. So yes, we, should, we could be surprised in the upside. There will be election in France in the in end of April, beginning of May, election, uh, presidential election. I think the new government, uh, again, will... Uh, uh, address the, uh, the deficit problem and it will be another country, a bit like Spain, yes. that will address this problem. So one by one, every country in Europe will continue to address the problem. So all in all, uh, except if there's uh, any big surprise, it should be slightly better. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be a long way. What do you wish for this Christmas, Yannick? In terms of uh, in terms presents, of presents, yes. I don't know. I think it's a surprise. I think my wife See, you will don't surprise know. That's me. That's the typical answer from men. Oh, I don't know anything. You make our lives miserable. You know that? No, I'm very happy. everything I have on that piece, so you know. Well, that, that's very true. Uh, there's a lot to be grateful for. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Uh, happy holidays, Thank you. Yannick. Now, portfolio manager from Glendavon King Asset Management. I'm just teasing you a little bit.